let's talk about your life you've been spending a lot of your time these days in london and yes. you're undergoing movement coaching yes uh, that sounds well uh, just expanding my horizons right and yeah i mean i think sometimes you kind of tend to get stuck in a rut and just go and you're like okay i've achieved a fair deal and i'm good and people like what i do so i'm just going to keep on doing this right. but that's never been my thing so when i had the opportunity to to train and improve and grow i was really happy that i could you know and um as as most people know the i think two two years ago or even a year ago i had no life except just set aeroplane house not even house hotel actually and i worked like 350 days out of the 365 days in the year yeah. and i didn't really feel very good about it i felt good and touch wood and you know like i had so much work and thankful to god because i've always wanted to be busy but then as a person i really had to step back and as and and see what am i what is the output what am i giving out and how effective is that and internally what am what am i feeling and what are the what is the journey inside and it wasn't really you know it wasn't making me feel great so i took some time away and i discovered that i absolutely love london i'd been there like way before and i was always like oh my god i love la and <laughs> uh this is when i i've grown up a bit and been back to la i mean i have a lots of friends there so they'll feel bad but i just i didn't vibe as much yeah plus we have like 24 hour sunshine in india so i was just like I love the cold damp positivity of London. Right. Yeah. So all that uh, that was the decision, you know, well, for striking a balance. Well, everyone feels I'm I'm different now and I think it has a lot to do with just you know taking that second. Right. So movement work. coaching sounds very interesting. Do you want to Well, I'm training more? with someone wonderful called Liana and if anyone ever has a chance and wants to improve themselves physically as an actor anyone should go to her she's fantastic and she's a gorgeous person as well mm. so i think meeting her was great because for me also just leaving this whole thing of shruti aside and uh training with somebody who genuinely loves teaching number one and who is so fantastic in improving someone's physicality and understanding of who they are as an actor for me was just um mind altering experience in terms of just opening up and moving away from the daily routine of what we do here right. and so it was amazing so are you learning things that you didn't know of about my body yeah, yeah. i was like what <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a serious note yeah absolutely it completely uh, opened me up and then from there exploring and reading up more and learning more and uh, meeting people because of it that were more into that way of life and thinking yeah. which is so different from what we do here yeah. was just amazing for me yeah. yeah so of late a lot of uh, indian actors deepika priyanka nimrat um, are doing hollywood films and mm-hmm. tv series i so especially the, like the, what nimrat has yeah. done especially like what she's done and of course i've always been a big fan yeah. of priyanka and more than anything i've just loved her determination to like she sets a goal and goes for it yeah. but i don't really know what my course yeah. of action is or i think even in indian cinema beat as or beat as a musician i've kind of just done my own thing and there's a lot of people who've been like what is she doing and then later on it becomes oh but only shruti could have done something like yeah. this so it's like it's kind of like a toss up you know it's like yeah. equal but for me it's just about I think especially now it's more about really just marching to my own drum. Yeah. yeah. So you don't see it leading to TV or I do. Films? I mean, of course I do. You do. Yeah. I do. I'd love to. But it's not like it's an agenda because such and such person is doing a such and such thing. I've never been that way. Yeah. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to start doing it now. Yeah. 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 Even theater I heard it's really tough uh, doing We've never then. done I mean, most of us actors you have never done theater so that's something that intrigues me yeah. i mean there are theater actors in india and they com- and you can see the difference mm. i'm sure you can mm. so i would love to explore theater as well yes right. hi i'm shruti hasan and you're watching me on i dream media so uh, everything that you do including that gq shoot was eye popping right so uh, is 
do you think that everybody actually uh, appreciates, appreciates it? No. it? No. But it's my body and I can do what I want with it. And it's my life and I can do what I want with it. And I think that's a freedom anybody should have. And that's the way I've been brought up. There's nothing, anything that you can look at in my career that's offensive. Mm. 